Lovies. Um, so I just wanted to come on here and talk about a few things that I recently purchased. Um, so if you have seen my Instagram, um, my golden rays of sunshine Instagram, don't worry, I'm still talking with these dentures, I'm still getting used to them. Um, if you've seen my golden rays of sunshine Instagram, um, you know that I've bought a couple of things off of Poshmark recently. One being this felt floppy hat. Um, I absolutely adore this hat. It is so, so pretty. Um, it's a little, it's got feather stuff in it. <laughs> um, I am so in love with this hat. Um, I have actually um, taken quite a few pictures with this. It is so cute on. I kind of feel like, you know, a little fall babe. Um, I've been told a couple of times that I'm ready for the derby. <laughs> Um, and then the other thing, I actually bought this to match, um, which it doesn't really match a whole lot. This is a little more purple than red, um, but I did get this bag. Um, it is a Kenneth Cole reaction bag. Um, I actually got this for a steal. It was brand new, and I got it for $28. It is beautiful. Um, it's obviously, it's just a um, satchel bag. Um, but it does have, um, you can turn it into a tote. It's lined in gold, which is really pretty. Um, it does have a snap inside here. Um, so you can snap it, a little snap, that magnetic snap. Um, and I kind of like it more as a tote. Um, so I kind of have to, um, I think I have to, um, like, get it to stay in this shape um but I, I mean I don't mind it as a satchel either it's kind of different um I don't have any bags that are satchel except for I have the one crossbody bag um with Melia's name on it um but there's also this little pocket thing in here this unsnaps um it's got like a little card holder here um and then it's got like a little zipper for your zipper pocket but this is really nice um if you're out and about and you need to um just pull your little bag out of here instead of pulling your whole wallet. Um, so yeah, these are the two things that I've bought recently off of Poshmark. Um, so I will be wearing this this fall. Uh, I'm absolutely in love with the outfit. Um, like I said, I did get them to match. They don't match perfectly, um, but I think it'll be alright. It's, it's pretty close. Um, so a couple of other things that I wanted to talk about, some beauty products that I got. Um, so with my new dentures, um, so I have a bad habit of, I don't like dry flaky skin on my lips. Um, so now that I have dentures, um, I find it hard to, I usually, <laughs> it's really gross, but I usually bite the skin on my lips, um, when I have dry flaky skin on there. Um, and I can't do that anymore. Um, so I actually, uh, one of the fellow YouTubers that I follow actually put me onto this. It's the Laneige Sleeping Mask, Lip Sleeping Mask. I don't know if you can see this. It's kind of, yeah. Um, so I got this, I think it's in the berry flavor. Um, they actually just released two new flavors, mint and something else. It's a yellow box, so I don't know if it's like a lemon or what. Um, but I've actually been using this, um, for about five or six nights now. Um, it comes in a little pot like this. Um, and it's just, it's like, almost like a lip balm, sorry, a lip balm consistency. Um, so it's, it's, and a little goes a long way. Um, and it also comes with this little spatula, like a little silicone spatula. Um, it comes with this um, to put it on so that you're not using your finger. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. I put it on at night before I go to bed. Um, and I wake up in the morning and my lips are super, super moisturized. They're super, super soft. Um, I don't really have like a whole lot of um, dry skin on my lips right now. Um, just because I have been using this. Um, which I absolutely love. Um, so yeah, I've got this. Um, today I actually bought a couple of other things for my lips, um, to see if it'll help. Um, I've, I've bought, uh, lip scrubs in the past. The one that I bought, 
so I tried one from Mary Kay um, and then I also tried one from Trader Joe's it's more of like a natural stuff um, and I actually prefer the Trader Joe's over Mary Kay I'm not really a fan of the Mary Kay one um, it just didn't really do a whole lot for me um, so I actually don't have the Trader Joe's one anymore um, so I was in the market to buy a new one um, so I actually looked up on a website to um, find out what like the top 10 ones for 2020 are um, this one was not on the list um, but I actually went onto Alto's website and like went based off reviews um, but this one actually didn't have any <laughs> so I was like hey why not give it a try um, maybe I'll be the first one so I got the Buxom Powerful Lip Scrub. This is in the flavor Dragon Fruit. Um, Buxom, I use, I use, um, I've used Buxom's like lipsticks and stuff before and I absolutely love them. Um, so I figured I would give this a try. It's like a little, it's like a little um, lip gloss kind of tube. And then it's got, it almost looks like Dragon Fruit on the inside. And it actually smells pretty good. It doesn't smell like dragon fruit, though. It almost smells kind of like cookie, vanilla-y, which is weird. Um, so I will be giving this a try, and I will let you know how I like it. Um, and I also got another one. This one was actually on the top 10 for 2020 list. It's the Dr. Pawpaw Scrub and Nourish uh, Natural Lip Scrub, Lip Sugar Scrub, and Balm in a Stackable Pot to Take Anywhere. It's a two-in-one product. Um, so the Trader Joe's one was actually a two-in-one product too. You got the lip scrub and the lip balm, um, in, um, the same package. So I do like that it comes with both. Um, I, what I use for lip balm, I actually use, um, Burt's Bees. Um, I use the mint one because it's kind of, gets that like menthol -y tingle flavor, which I, like, I like, love that. Um, so this is the Dr. Pawpaw. This is, it's like a little pot. Um, and then on the top, the black layer is the lip scrub. And then the yellow layer on the bottom is the lip balm. This is actually made in Britain. Um, so I'm kind of excited to use this. I'm hoping that it's really good. Um, like I said, and it also is vegan friendly. Um, just so that you know, um, uh, I'm not sure about the Laneige. Um, I have a family member who, um, I absolutely adore who her and I go back and forth with makeup all the time. Um, she is actually allergic to co to, to coferol, um, in makeup products and health and beauty products. Um, I'm not sure about the Laneige. I'll have to get back to you, Sierra, um, about this one. Um, I'm not sure if it's in here, but I do know... That I just checked the Dr. Papa's lip scrub and balm set, and I checked the Buxom lip scrub. It is not in either of these, um, just so that you know. And then it, it's also not in the next product either, um, which I researched um, before purchasing. Um, and I believe I've already told you about that because I was actually with your mom when I bought it. Um, so then the next product that I wanted to talk to you about, I actually saw this on TikTok. Um, there's a Jersey girl that I follow on there, um, who is like, I, I think she's from Jersey. She's got a really thick Jersey accent. Um, and I will actually insert the clip shortly after I talk about this product. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day. Um, so this is a setting spray. Um, so I actually saw um her video and then she also linked the video she saw um in her video so that we could all see like the comparison between the two um this stuff so in the video which i'll link in a second um she actually so she puts eyeshadow on the top of her hand two different colors and then she takes it and she rubs it like this and you can obviously tell that like it you know smudges so then she wipes it off and then she puts the same exact colors on, sprays this on her hand very, like, quite a bit actually. Um, so I'm not sure how this is going to go, um, how long it's going to last. But she did put like quite a bit on her, on that. 
but after it dried she wiped her hand like this again and I kid you not the eyeshadow did not budge one bit so I am gonna link the video right here bro I was tagged in this video so many times to try this product I had never even heard of it I'm talking about the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray the claims on this are crazy 16 hour wear, lock in your makeup, no melting, no fading, no creasing. So it's gonna put a film over your face that's gonna make sure the makeup can't move. It's got your typical Charlotte Tilbury packaging, very elegant, classy. In the original video I saw, she swatched eyeshadow on her arm, and then she rubbed the shadows really hard and they didn't move, they didn't budge. So I'm gonna test that. Here are the swatches I did. Spraying them. All right, now I'm gonna set my makeup. It is fragrance, but the scent's actually pretty pleasant. Now the weird thing is I can actually feel a film on my arm over here. Now I'm rubbing the literal hell out of my arm. Bro, this shit's not budging. Like, literally. That's pretty cool. I've never seen anything like that. So it's 11 a.m. and I got work until 7.30 p.m. So after work, I'm gonna update you. Does that work on your face? Is this gonna be the best setting spray ever? So, as you can see... This setting spray is amazing. Um, the claims on this setting spray are just out of this, like, I just don't understand why more people aren't talking about this. Um, I have not personally given this a try yet, but I definitely will. Um, I actually ran out of my favorite foundation, which is the Dior Forever Foundation. Um, so I actually have that coming. It should be here by the end of the week. Um, so I will be giving this a try with my Dior foundation, um, and I will let you know how it works. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, is this other product that I got. It's not really a product, it's more of a tool. Um, so along with the lip scrub stuff, um, I also got the Ulta Beauty Lip Exfoliator. Um, so this is basically, you just put, like, scrubs or balms on here. Um, and you can actually, it's like a little silicone head. It's almost like a silicone toothbrush. Um, and then you just, um, you know, put the lip balm, put the lip scrub on there. And then you just, you know, scrub your lips with it. Um, I don't know if I will need this, but I've been wanting to try one for a while. Um, I don't know if I will need it with this stuff, but it might work with the Dr. Pawpaws. Um, it might work uh, really nicely with that. Um, being that that's a pot instead of like a stick. Um. So I will keep you posted on this um, and let you know how I like it. Um, and I, like I said, I will keep you posted on all of these products. Um, I know the Laneige works. I love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, I just got the Buxom and the Dr. Pawpaws today. Um, and I also got the Charlotte Tilbury. Actually, I got it this last weekend. I just haven't used it yet. Um, like I said, I'm waiting for my foundation. Um, and then... Um, that's it for products, but I also just wanted to kind of give you guys an update um, as to what's going on with my dentures. Because um, I know some of you watch these videos to kind of get updates. Um, and I just wanted to talk about like what's been going on with them. Um, so last Tuesday, I went for my um, soft reline and adjustment. And so just so that you're aware, because um, a lot of people didn't know this, so these dentures, I only have my uppers in right now, um, but these dentures are temporary. I actually get um, my final set, my permanent set, um, in almost like a little over five months. Um, so after six months of wearing um, this set, this temporary set, I actually get my permanent ones. Uh, and my these actually, I only had three choices of color for these. So I got the lightest one because I, you know, I've... I've had stained lips for a while because I really love root beer. <laughs> um, and also from, I used to smoke cigarettes, which is absolutely disgusting. I know I've been clean for seven years now from cigarettes, um, which awesome. Woohoo. Um, I'm so happy about that. Um, but you know, obviously I did have staining from that and drinking dark sodas. Um, so, um, I've wanted to get you know, I've tried the teeth whiteners, um, but unfortunately because my teeth are so soft, um, it actually makes my teeth super sensitive. So I wasn't really able to do those. Um, so I do, with my final dentures, I do really want to get a couple of shades lighter than what I have right now. Um, what I have right now actually matches my bottom teeth that are still there. Um, they're very close in color. Um, but 
um, I really want to try like a shade or two lighter just because like I said I've always wanted to have lighter teeth um, so and then I just um, this last Tuesday I went for my soft reline and my adjustment um, I wasn't able to get my bottom teeth in prior to this appointment um, and so he did quite a few adjustments on that um, he fixed the wires they actually sit a lot better um, I can actually get them in the only thing is is um, there's a piece that goes under my tongue um, and that um, it kind of makes my tongue not fit in my mouth um, and then there's also another piece in the back um, that kind of digs into the side of my tongue um, so that's kind of uncomfortable and then um, so there's basically the way that so it's a partial on my bottom and the way that it sits um, is there's two wires that go around my my adult teeth um, and so those two wires go around the teeth but then the about the bottom the other end of those wires are on the inside of my gums um, and when I bite down it actually pokes into my gums um, which is not a great feeling um, but other than that um, my upper dentures um, have been doing really well they are giving me a sore um, right here um, and I think what's going on is um, so basically with the soft reline so they make the adjustments with the dentures themselves and then um, with the soft reline they basically put like this silicone material in there and then they take your dentures and like push them up into the roof of your mouth and you have to hold it for like six minutes um, for the stuff to set um, and I think what happened is because everybody has this indent right above um, their bone um, I think what happened was when they did the soft reline um, that indent sits farther in than the um, bone where my teeth were and so when I go to put them on it's constantly rubbing um, on that one spot so I think that's what's going on so I'm gonna talk to them I have an appointment next week for another reline um, so I am gonna talk to them about both of those issues um, I have not been wearing my lower my, um, partials down below just because like like I really like when I talk I really like I'm already talking weird now because with just my uppers in but when I put my lowers in I literally can't talk like I can I mean I can talk but like it's really it's bad like people can't really understand me um because I just have like this big tongue in my mouth and there's like no room for my tongue um so and plus it's really painful um I have actually been having to um take Advil a few times a day um just because of the pain from like that one spot and then um it's just I just can't wait to to get to the you know the final the finish line um so yeah that's what's been going on um I'm feeling a little bit better about my decision um I mean I'm still kind of bummed about it like just because um you know just about the whole situation like it's just kind of like a crappy situation and like I really wish that like things had happened differently um not necessarily with my decision but like with how things were run um I really feel like um it was very unorganized um and I just I don't recommend that whatsoever um but you know there's no sense in dwelling on the past um I obviously can't change my decision they can't put my teeth back in so um I am just going to make the best of my decision and I am just going to keep going from here and hopefully things will get better and better um but yeah um I just wanted to come on here and talk about my, the products and talk about my dental issues and just give you all an update um also if you haven't noticed um I actually have a new plant um right here um that's in my bedroom now so you'll probably be seeing that a lot in the background um this is my monstera plant I actually got this um last December when my grandma passed away um so we went to um Chappelle's florist or Chapel's florist whoever you want <laughs> I don't know which way is the right way I think it's Chappelle's anyways um but we went to the florist to get flowers and everything for my grandma for the wake 
um, and I absolutely fell in love with this plant. Um, as a lot of you may know, um, my grandma and I were very much into Hawaii. Um, hibiscus is my favorite flower. Um, I, you know, Moana is one of my favorite movies. My daughter, my future daughter's name is Hawaiian. Um, and so, you know, tropical plants um, are like my favorite. And this plant really reminded me of my grandma. Um, so I actually, um, we think that it may have gotten hit because we did get it in December. Um, and it did go outside a couple of times through transport. Um, so we think it did get hit. Um, just from the cold weather and so last year um, I had it in my bedroom for quite a few months um, and it started not liking the environment because uh, some of the leaves started turning yellow and like it was just it was having issues um, so I actually gave it to my aunt Kathy um, which if people if some of you know know that my um, aunt Kathy actually lived with my grandma and my grandma had this beautiful greenhouse um, where she, you know, it was like an electric greenhouse that had like heat and everything in it. Um, so I gave it to her and we put it in the greenhouse. Um, and then at the beginning of summer, she took it out and had it outside and it just, it just took off. Like it's beautiful now. Um, she put it in a bigger pot, so it is going to get bigger than this. Um, but this is, you know, I just wanted to show y'all, um, this plant. Um, it is absolutely stunning. Um. Alright, so this is the end of my video. Um, I hope you liked my content. Um, I will get back to y'all on possibly on IG um, about these products once I try them. Um, and I will probably, I might do a makeup tutorial <laughs> um, just with the um, foundation and with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Setting Spray. Um, I might do a tutorial this Saturday um, so y'all can see that. Um, and I will actually let you know about these lip scrubs and how I'm liking them. Alright, thanks for watching.